Sunday cleaning hungover edition. <laughs> Zane and I went out on this Saturday night into the city and I kid you not, I don't think we start cleaning until 6.30 or 7 p.m. We usually do it relatively earlier, like in the afternoon-ish. So we got a late start, but we had a lazy Sunday, had our bagels. It was nice. It was, it was needed. Um, we started with tidying up the kitchen. I cleaned my makeup brushes that desperately needed to be done. And then I did some miscellaneous things around here, salt and pepper. I thought it was satisfying until I spilt it, which is annoying, but don't worry, we clean it up. <laughs> I went ahead and did, you know, the regular. I, you know, uh, swept the counters. That sounds like a weird way of putting it. I don't use that thing on the floor. I only use it on the counters. It's just easy to get like crumbs and stuff from eating, you know? And then um, wiped everything down, vacuumed. This week was kind of my mess. I had stuff everywhere. It was just a very busy week. So I actually did the bathroom while Zane was putting away laundry. And I didn't tell him, I surprised him. And he was like, you did the bathroom already? I was like, yes, I get brownie points now, dinner, something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah, I went ahead and like scrubbed the toilet and clean the counters and everything like that. But yeah, I was just in a rush all week. So every time I left the house, there would just be like a pile of my stuff everywhere. So I kind of took the brunt of the Sunday cleaning because I felt like it was my clutter everywhere. And it worked out because Zane had a bunch of laundry to put away anyway. Um, like this, I filmed a video and there was just clothes everywhere. Just piles of my stuff everywhere. The couch was a mess because we were relaxing on it. So I went ahead and just quickly tidied that up. And I went ahead and vacuumed the living room. I'm not going to lie, you guys, we had big plans for this week. Um, I, if you watched last week's video, I wanted to organize the kitchen cabinets. And like I said, we were just not having it this Sunday. So I'm sorry. We will do that next week, I promise. <laughs> um, also exciting, if you see, we have so many clothes and we need to go through like our pajama drawers and stuff. So I think the week after next week, we're going to do that. We like having like a little mini project in the each week because it, I don't know, it's kind of, thank you, Benji. It's kind of nice to have like a goal each week and, you know, keep doing little mini things, something to look forward to. We had a salad break and then I had to wash all the dishes from that salad. We also washed out the Brita. So I went ahead and filled that so that we can fill our water jugs for the week. Here she is, Amazon, link in bio. You guys know that I love this thing. It keeps me on track to drink a lot of water. And the kitchen was clean. Ah, oh, amazing. Then I went ahead into the office. I actually don't think I've ever shown you guys cleaning the office, organizing it. It needed to be done. We had to record the podcast the next morning and unfortunately the office just becomes my catch-all. I don't know why, maybe because we just close the doors and it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, but it shouldn't be because I spend a lot of time in there and I like it. So I went ahead and tidied that up a little bit and I vacuumed and wiped down the counters and it felt really nice to finally clean the office. Benji wants to talk to you guys and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.